hello guys so in previous videos uh, we have gone through the xcode environment and basic setup and creating hello world applications all the stuff so now today we will show the uh, basic understanding for the swift language what are the storage uh, uh, components available uh, for the developing application so we will quickly go on through uh, one demo application for that but before that let's check out some of the advantages of the swift language before starting so as we can see swift is a very powerful programming language introduced by the apple itself and it's an open source language so it's more powerful more modern and more uh, more faster language as well it's a more most popular language uh, in a current scenario so there are lots of advantages uh, in a real time also it reduces the compilation time when and also execution time as well when we are developing the application so these are some of the advantages now let's take a look uh, what are the syntaxes for the basic local storage components and how we can utilize that so we will create a sample application for that So let's give the name sample application to be nested in the saved. So now we would have a project ready. So there are uh, basically four components which we need to go through uh, this video. Uh, that is string integer array and dictionary so let's see how we can utilize that and how we can also use some of the inbuilt functions available uh, to make some of the calculation and some of the uh, actions to perform so initially we are starting with the string only so first we will declare the two string variables So we do have a two string is ready now. Uh, we will uh, create a third string as empty and we will try to append these strings into the single string without using any inbuilt functions. As you can see here, we have declared where we can also keep it let also. So what is the difference between let and let is uh, whenever we are creating a let variable, that means the vari variable is just static constant variable. So uh, runtime we can't change the value for that it will be the static value and if we are declaring the where that means we can also change the values for that variables anytime it can be changeable variable so right now we are just keeping its uh, where only let's declare the third final string and initially we will keep it empty so there is no value right now here Now what we need to do is in a final string, final string we need to get the uh, values for both the strings and we need to append it right so for that string so what swift is doing uh, whenever we are creating any final string okay so as we can see it's giving us error because final string we have declared as a let so it means it's not changeable value so for changing we'll have to keep uh, keep it aware only so now it will allow us to change the values runtime see whenever we are declaring the val uh, string values and we are performing operation using some uh, operators so it automatically detects that we are going to perform the append operation so it automatically take uh, takes and performs the append operation let's see how it works so 
so we'll try and see if it, if it appends the proper value or not so as we can see it's appending both the values and also is including the space as well and it's creating the final string now let's take an example of the integer value So we, de uh, we have declared two integer variables uh, with some of the static values. Now what we'll do is we'll try to do addition operation for that. So in final variable, we do have initially zero value. So we'll try to append it. And we have to do the addition operation. So as we can see, in both cases, we are using similar operators, but how it's automatically identifying that we are using string value or we are using the integer value. And on basis of that, it's automatically performing the values. Like in this case, it's automatically performing the integer, considering as an in integer and it's performing the addition operation here. So we'll check the results now. So it's giving us addition value. Now uh, let's take up on the uh, listing. How we can manage the listing? Suppose we do have multiple uh, values we need to store. So we'll have to uh, use some of the option where we can store multiple values. So for that we can use array. So simply we can declare the array like this. Initially the array is empty, there is no values. So let's add some value here. So now we have added three values here. And let's try and add one more metal value dynamically. So how we can do that? Self dot my array. So we are appending a new element here. So we are appending what? Let me append one more. So we have appended uh, two more values and three values we already have. So total it should show us five values. Let's print the before and after values. So initially it will show us the default uh, listing and after that it will show the additional listing to us. Uh, let's change the name for that. So as we can see initially before operation it's showing the default values which are available into the array and after appending operation it's showing us updated array now similarly we can also remove the value from the array as well so how we can do that simply my array remove so here in hint we are showing these much options so we can remove from the specific index we can also remove all the values we can also remove from the first or last specific index also so Currently, we will try to uh, remove the value from the specific index from the second position. So array values always start from the zero index. So zero, one, two. So in that case, it will 
it will remove the third value let's see if it works or not so as we can see it's removing the third value here which is available into the second position and it automatically shuffles uh, rest of the values and axes now we'll, uh, we have gone through the string integer and array now let's take a look about the dictionary how we can use the dictionary so let's say we have a group of values for a specific record and how we can maintain that so what we can use is uh, we can use a dictionary structure where we can uh, store a group of value for some of the, uh, some of the specific entity let's say for the student records so let's say we have a one student record here including name So here we have a one record here. So let's try to print the value. As we can see, for a single record, we can store multiple values into the dictionary and we can also access the full dictionary as well as the specific value of the dictionary as well. So let's try both ways. First, we will try to access full dictionary. So by simply printing this value, it will give us access of the whole dictionary. And if we need to uh, get the access for the specific part, then how we can do that? So simply into the dictionary, we have to specify the key values. Let's say we just need to get the name of the student. So we'll pass the specific key value for the name. And let's run it. So as you can see, first it's uh, showing us whole record and after that we are just trying to access the name of the student so it's also giving us that name. So by this way we can use the basic storage components. These are the temporary storage components. It's not storing the values permanently. Whenever we are launching the application, it automatically removes and it will initialize with the default values which are available here. Also we can uh, uh, check one thing here we are not mentioning any data type or something here swift automatically takes the value uh, data types on basis of the values we have assigned to him so it automatically takes the data type we don't need to assign them although we can assign the data type for that but it's not compulsory it automatically takes the value data type also we need to uh, not need to give the semicolon or something it automatically detects on a new line it takes a new variable so that's all for this video in our next videos we will check how we can utilize the storyboard and how we can uh, use some of the uh, more listing components and how we can show into the listing uh, by connecting uh, it with the storyboard so that's all for this video thank you guys